Hello, I'm Robert and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use depth of field in Blender. So it's pretty much an effect in which the camera focuses on to one single object. So you can see the other stuff not focused. So that's it's pretty cool, especially like if you're making an animation and you start focusing on one object and then focus on another one. So let's jump into it. So for the setup, I'm going to delete everything first. And actually, before I keep going, I'm going to add my screencast keys so you can see what I'm clicking on. So I want to make a plane, a pretty big plane. And I'm going to select this edge right over here. And I'm going to extrude. I want to do Control V to bevel. Um, Something like that should look nice. And I'm also going to select this other face and move this back. So before I keep going, I'm going to scale this on the X just in case and make sure you smooth this out so it looks nice. And the material for this will just be pretty much as wide as it can get. So that's good for the plane. Now I want you to just go into, we have to make a camera so let's make a camera and let's clear the rotation and let's move this up actually we need on the x somewhere around 85 ish maybe a little bit less actually rotate x well we will be able to tell when we have stuff in our scene so right now it, pre it looks okay. So now what I'm going to do is create a UV sphere. And with that UV sphere, UV sphere, I'm going to um, make an array. So make sure you go into edit mode. Actually, we want it to be like right on top. And it's not right on top, so. Just copy the values. Hmm. Because with one, oh, well, actually, well, let's just do it like this. So let's press O, and definitely let's move this back. And let's also move this sphere. To smooth this out and what I want to do now is an array so you can see the effect uh, um, for the depth of field so it's kind of like progressive not with just some random objects scattered around the scene so you can actually get a feel of what it looks like so I want to make the count pretty big and Okay, let's move this edge back and let's select these and go back as well. Well, maybe I did way too many. And once you select the, um, the spheres and rotate on the Z. Okay. Oops. Once you have to do it without selecting the camera. Uh, just a little bit more. That should be enough. So I want to make this bigger on the X, just like that. This is, make sure this is smooth. And for the material, uh, well, first of all, let's make sure we're in cycles. Um, let's use nodes. And let's go to the node editor. Awesome. So I want to make this, uh, let's make it a pretty blue, just like that. And let's add a glossy shader. And a mix shader, which is right over here. 
Okay, so for the value, I'm going to just make this 0 0.03, so it's very glossy. And I'm also going to look up for Fresnel, which I'm not sure how it's pronounced. I hope I did correctly. It's weird. It's like Fresnel or Fresnel or something. Whatever. Uh, let's see how it looks rendered, and it's going to look like crap because we don't have lighting. So I'm going to go into solid. And actually, before I add lighting, I'm going to make the world white or whiter. I should say. So let's center and let's create a aerial lamp. Let's move this back. Actually, it's way too high, way too high. And I want to rotate this on the Y. And I want to make this much bigger. I think 20 is a good value. And for the strength, I believe somewhere around 900 should get the job done. Let's make it a bit bluish, just a little bit. Okay, so let's see how this looks now. Let's, I don't like how that looks. I'm too going to solid view, move this over here. And that should look nicer because it's closer to the camera. That seems to get the job done. Well, we could add more light source and stuff, but it's it will make this video way too long. So, what I'm going to do now is actually get the depth of field set up. So I'm going to select my camera. I'm going to check on limits, and I'm going to focus on. I'm going to select this thing to um, eye drop thing. I think that's how it's called. Sorry. And I want to select this sphere to focus on it. And you can't really see a difference. So I want to go change into f-stop. And it still doesn't make a difference, but bear with me. I want to change the number to somewhere around 0 0.3. And you'll see a drastic difference right now. So as you can see, it's all very, very blurry. So it, it looks pretty nice. But... We can also raise this value to let's say 0 0.6 or even let's try one and as you can see it's already that effect it's almost almost disappeared so let's leave it at around 0 0.6 and let's check high quality so that's all for this video if you have any questions make sure to comment down below and if you want to learn to do Whatever, just make sure to comment down below and I'll see what I can do for you. If you enjoyed it, make sure to uh, like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.